Are you ready to meet the ambassador? Yeah. I like that. I like the sound of that. So without further ado, I need you to make some noise for your 2013 
Can you say, believe in yourself? Believe in yourself! Now, show of hands, how many know what they want to be when they grow up? That's good. Second question is, how many of you know what it takes to achieve that goal? Give you a brief story about me. When I was in fourth grade, I was the only fourth grader to try out for the boys' second and eighth grade basketball team. Unfortunately, I didn't make the team, but that didn't allow me to walk around with my head down. I talked to my pops. He told me to continue working on my game. Less than a week later, I tried back out for the team and I actually made it. So that being said, if you believe in your goals, you can achieve them. Can you say believe in yourself? And another good, important thing is to always stay in school and remain drug free. Can you say stay in school? Stay in school! And remain drug free. And free. Thank you. I will now pass the mic over to my teammate, Nicholas. Hello, everyone. Like my teammate Dion said, my name is Nicholas. I'm originally from Bay City, Michigan. I attended Indiana University where I received my degree in general education. It's my second year at the Harlem Ambassadors. <laughs> my message to everyone today is positive people. Can you say positive people? Positive people! One more time, positive people. Growing up in Bay City, Michigan, you know, I was always faced with a lot of negative people. People telling me you can't do anything, you know, you're not good. I used to go outside and play basketball um, on the hard time. I'd get pushed around, bullied a lot. But there was always one positive person in my life, and that was my grandmother. She told me I could do anything I wanted to in life. So with that being said, the day she said that, I took that knowledge. I went on to high school, I graduated. And I was able to go down to Kirkland, which is a community college, receive my associate's degree, and then I was able to go on to Vermont Technical College, where I received an academic degree, and I received a basketball scholarship as well. So I graduated, I ended, I ended up finishing at Indiana University. But all these things in my life, I became accomplished because I had positive people telling me that I could do anything I wanted to in life. So with positive people in your life and staying drug free and staying in school, you can achieve anything you want to in life. Now, people are going to tell you all the time that you can't do anything. Most of the time when people tell you that thing, those things, it's because they cannot do it themselves. So one more time, say positive people. Positive people! Thank you. With that being said, I'm now pass the microphone to my teammate, Michael. Like my teammate Nick said, my name is Michael. I'm from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. I graduated from Oklahoma Christian University with a degree in exercise science. I have, I have two things for you today. Number one is to listen, and two, never be afraid to ask questions. Growing up in high school, I always got it done out here on the court, but not in the classroom. Teachers used to give me work. I used to tell myself, I'll do it later. I'll uh, wait till Sunday, get it all done. And I got myself behind. Many of my teachers thought that I wouldn't graduate from high school, let alone go on to play college basketball. So I went to my dad and I asked him what I could do to get better. And he told me, never be afraid to ask questions. If I needed help to go in after class, get help. And I listened to him. Long story short, I went on to get a basketball scholarship, and most importantly, I went on to be an academic All-American all four years in college. So with that being said, listen to your teachers, your parents, your friends, and like Nick said, make sure there are positive influences in your life. Thank you. I will now pass the mic to my teammate, Nick Good morning. Good morning. My name is Lily, like my teammate Mike said. I am from West Palm Beach, Florida, where I attended Palm Beach Atlantic University and earned my degree in physical education. And today my main message is to speak up and express yourself. 
somebody's bothering you, you need to say something. If you have trouble with something, you need to say something. Ever since elementary school, I basically raised myself because my mom was sick and my dad died. And I would go to school, elementary school, every morning with a huge smile on my face when I was really hurting inside. Then I would go home at night and cry myself to sleep, you know, wishing and praying that things would get better, but it didn't. It only got worse. It only got worse because I didn't say something. I didn't go tell anybody what was going on. So as a result, I go to school the next day, you know, do the bad thing, hang out with the wrong crowd. And that was just my way of showing people that I needed help. I was crying inside of me, inside. But no one could hear me because I didn't talk. I didn't say anything. I'm on a road for the next five months with these people who are standing behind me. And they are my support system while I'm on the road. Because my family and everyone else is at home. So if I'm having a problem with something, I should be able to go to one of them and they should be able to encourage me and pick me up, give me advice in my time of need. Now I want you to look around to the people sitting next to you, your teachers, your classmates, your principals. These people are your support system. If you're having a problem, you should be able to go to a friend, go to a teacher, or go to a parent to help you out. And if you go to another student and they ask you for help, and you can't help them, you need to tell them to go so they can get the appropriate help that they need. Now I want you to say, speak up. Speak up. Good job. Now I'm going to turn the mic over to the announcer, Alvin.